Hi, I'm Larry Richardson, your step-by-step -step chef. In this episode, we're going to make an absolutely delicious shrimp salad using canned shrimp with a bit of a twist. We're going to add some vegetables, we're going to add some spices, including curry. So this is curried shrimp salad, and it tastes absolutely delicious. So we're taking a meal that you're probably familiar with and giving it a twist. And that's one of the fun things about cooking, is you can always make it your own. So come on, let's cook. And here are the ingredients for our curried, our curried shrimp salad. You're gonna love this one. First of all, I have a six ounce can of shrimp. Now you can use medium, small, whatever size you can get. The small are definitely more affordable. And since we're going to mush it all up, you might as well, you know, get a good price on it. Um, you recognize that red onion? It's been in several programs. It's still with us. It might even become a regular on Step-by-Step -step Chef episodes. I, I just can't throw it away. I, I mean, it's as good as any other onion as, our, as we work our way through it. In fact, I think it's going to be a sad episode when we have to finally, <laughs> finally say goodbye. Uh, so two tablespoons of minced red onion, two tablespoons of minced celery, we're going to use a half a teaspoon of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of curry. Now, why do we use the granulated sugar? It takes a little bit of the edge off of the curry. Then we're going to use a dusting of garlic powder. If you don't like garlic, you don't have to put it in. A dusting of black pepper. And we're going to have two tablespoons of mayonnaise. And that should do it. Let me show you how to put all this together. So let's start by making our basic shrimp salad. And I'm adding two heaping tablespoons of mayo to the shrimp. Now I did take the shrimp certainly out of the can and I did drain off the water. So do that, you don't want a soggy, a soggy shrimp salad. Then we just take a fork and we mush it up. This just makes it so much tastier to have all of the um, different ingredients blended together. So we're gonna give it a little mushing first to get the mayonnaise mixed in. And then let's add our initial spices for the shrimp salad. Black pepper. And our dusting of garlic powder, optional. You can use onion powder too if you wish. And let's just mix in those ingredients because I don't want to have to mush up the shrimp after I added the celery and the onion because at that point what will happen is that the onion and the celery will get overworked. So we're just giving it this little bit of a mushing. Okay, so that's well blended. And now we're just going to take our celery and mince it. So I'm just cutting it lengthwise, and then just give it a nice mincing until you have about two tablespoons. And to me, that's just about this entire very small celery stock. I just love celery in this type of sandwich, this type of salad. Here we go. Now just put the celery in. And then we'll take our onion, our well-worked onion, and I'm just cutting little squares into the top of it, heading in one direction. This is a really quick way to mince onion. And if you don't have red onion, yellow onion, or white onion, it's just fine. And then I'm going perpendicular, just in the other direction. Nice little squares. We don't want huge pieces of onion in the in the sandwich or salad. And then we just cut down the face of the onion, and we end up with two tablespoons of very finely minced onion. There we go. 
Let's put that right in. It has a nice, nice little extra flavor to a shrimp salad. And then we just stir this in. And you can add more mayo if you wish. Some people like it a, a little bit more mayonnaise -y. But I like it this way because um, you can really taste all the different ingredients. When you put this in a sandwich, on a salad, or use it in any other way you can imagine in different dishes that you like. And now to take this basic shrimp salad and turn it into curried shrimp salad, we just add our curry. About a tablespoon's right. You don't want to overpower the rest of the ingredients. Try it that way, give it a little taste, and then decide if you want to have some more curry powder in it. And then we just take our little bit of sugar to take the edge off of the curry. And that's it. And then we just mix it up. Give it a nice mixing. And you can see it just suddenly turned this um, delicious shrimp salad into a delicious curry shrimp salad. It was that easy. And if you think you need a little bit more mayo because of the um, curry, certainly add it. In fact, I think I'm going to. So I added one more tablespoon just to kind of loosen it up a little bit. That was kind of a, a, full clan, a full can of medium shrimp. So you can always adjust your recipes as needed. Now that's yummy. You will enjoy this. It tastes great on the bread of your choice, on a salad. It even tastes really good as a um, as an hors d'oeuvre on crackers. I think you're going to like this one. Mmm. Just snuck a taste. That's good. So congratulations. Look at what you just made. You just made this delicious curried shrimp salad. I think you and your family and your friends are absolutely going to love this. It just gives a, a new twist to a very familiar dish. Now if you like this recipe, please visit my website stepbystepchef.com. There you will find a free printable recipe for this, along with free printable recipes and video links for well over 150 different dishes. That's breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a couple of desserts. The other thing you're going to find is my cookbook, Cooking with a Step-by-Step -Step Chef. Over 114 recipes in this episode, this edition, and then by November of this year, it should be over 200 recipes. So I'm constantly adding to it. I update it every November. It makes a great gift, but I think you'll like it too because it means you don't have to print every single recipe off the site. So my name is Larry Richardson. I am your step-by-step -step chef, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.